Hello everyone, I'm just going to get straight into it because I have a feeling this could be a very long video. Basically it's getting to that time of the year again where the sun has disappeared and in its place all the leaves are brown. All the leaves are brown. All the leaves are brown. And um, it's autumn, or fall as you may call it. Now I personally love autumn fashion because I like being able to layer things and I'm also a very cold person. So being able to chuck on loads of layers and scarves and hats is like my ideal situation. So I was like rummaging through my drawers and it occurred to me that quite a lot of my fashion items and clothes, as you might call them, um, were very summery and springy. So I didn't really have a lot of winter or autumn clothing and I decided that this meant I had to go shopping and buy some things for my autumn winter wardrobe. So I thought I would share these with you and give you a bit of inspiration or some tips or if you're nosy like me and you just want to see what people buy then I hope you enjoy this. I also just want to quickly say that I would demonstrate these items on but I actually want to do an autumn slash winter lookbook where I will be including quite a lot of these. So once I've found someone to help me, <coughs> Joe or Alfie or Louise, then um, that will be going up too. So you can look forward to that. And let me know in the description any of these items that you definitely, definitely want to see in a lookbook. First place I went was Urban Outfitters. Look, this is just this bag just looks like Christmas to me. It's like, you know, green and candy cane. First thing I picked up was this scarf. Everyone needs a checkered scarf, I feel. This goes with everything. And it's really soft, and I just really like it. And I think that's, you know, a good reason to buy something. I also picked up this um, Penny Four style dress. I guess that's what you could call it. I wouldn't really know what else to call it. Which I saw on a mannequin, and they had put a jumper underneath. So the sort of thing I'm wearing now, but with this cute little dress on top, and it's just very swishy and cute, and I just thought that would look quite nice with jumpers or shirts with little collars, and again, it's something that you can layer up, because, you know, if it's really super cold, you could have a shirt with a collar, a jumper, this, a coat, and a scarf, and you're good to go for winter. Okay, a place where I wasn't so restrained was Topshop, because I would not been in Topshop in a while. Uh, the last time I was in there, I think it was their summer things, and so, it happened to be that there were a few things in there that I thought would look great for autumn and winter. Firstly, I'll get the like slightly more boring things out of the way, even though I don't think they're boring personally. Socks, three for eight pounds. I got these baby blue ones with the cute little ruffles, and I got these black ones with big ruffles. I like these socks because I think they look great with ankle boots or brogues um, and a lot of other autumn winter shoes because they just add a little bit of, you know, girliness to a boot or a brogue, which can be quite difficult sometimes because, you know, they're not the most elegant of shoe. As it was three for eight pounds, and you may realise I just showed two pairs of socks, the other pair I bought were these. I don't know when I'm going to wear these, but they have guinea pigs on them, and I couldn't just leave them there. The other thing I've decided to do this autumn is to branch out of my disco pants wearing comfort zone. So I've decided that I'm going to be a bit more brave with trousers. The first pair I bought were from Topshop and they're these and they zip up the side and they've got pockets here and they're just quite stretchy. At the bottom there's a little split here and I tried them on and I just thought they looked really nice but they could also be used to dress up and also casual and with boots I just think they'll look really cool and they're high waisted as well. I also picked up this white t-shirt which is baggy and loose and it's quite wide, um, the sleeves are short and it's cropped but I think this sort of thing would be nice with the trousers that I just showed because it's quite loose and floaty and again layering, good for layering. The other thing I picked up was this dress which has this at the top which is like a little t-shirt, it does look like it's not really connected so you can kind of put your fingers up here and it's a really pretty uh, pattern, it's sort of like a dark burgundy red and cream and then on the bottom it's like a leopard print with the same colours and it's just very floaty and I just thought something like this with a nice necklace and tights and boots would look really cute. This next thing was kind of my naughty purchase um, of the month <laughs> I think but I always find it really difficult to find a coat that I absolutely love. Every year I like to go for a parka because I feel like they suit me, 
they can be worn with everything and they keep me the warmest, especially if they're fur lined. I know that a lot of people saw me wearing my old parka, which I've actually had for three years. So it was time for me to get a new one and I spotted this one in Topshop and I instantly fell in love. Oh my goodness, look how fluffy. It's like all completely lined and you can also take this off. So if you wanted to just wear it um, without the lining for the time being before it gets too cold then you could just take all this out but this is like so super fluffy I posted a picture of this on Twitter and I was like oh do I get it do I not get it and you all told me to get it so technically I'm blaming you for this and Phil says the dog I just feel like a little Eskimo it's already very hot in my room I'm now going to melt I need to take this off but you get the general idea Next I went on to Zara, um, I also just want to point out this is stuff that I've bought over like the last month, not just all in one go. I picked up these really cute little um, jumpers, they're quite thin so again really nice for layering and I just liked the colour of this one and they've got tiny little mother of pearl buttons on the back. So I got that one in that colour and I also picked the same one up in grey. I also picked up this huge chunky knit cardigan. Um, this is going to keep me so super warm, especially on days where it's not raining, but you know, it's really chilly um, and it looks like this and I really like the back, it has, it's hard to show you without putting it on, but don't worry, I will show at some point, I'm sure I'll wear it, but it has that at the back and it's just really loose and drapey and you can do it up, it's got one of these like scary like tooth like buttons, but I don't think I'll ever wear it done up, I think I'll just wear it undone and loose and free and the sleeves are three quarter length. So I really like that. It's a slightly more extravagant purchase that I would never normally contemplate picking up, let alone trying on. Um, and it is these floral trousers that are turned up at the end. I have to admit, they were the one thing that I was like, these are not gonna look great on me. Like, I can't pull off floral trousers. I'm not that cool. Um, but they actually looked really, really nice and they fit really well. If you want to pick up something like this, or at least give them a try, then I would totally recommend it. Ow, I just hit myself in the head with the tag. The next place that I ventured into was Miss Selfridge, which I don't tend to go in normally, but I was walking past and they had loads of really nice things that I could just see inside the shop. And so I went in and picked up a few things. The first thing is a pair of leggings, but don't be fooled, they're not normal leggings. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but they have um, like leaves in tiny little black sequiny beads down each side of the leg. I thought they'd be a really nice alternative to just plain black leggings in an evening out or just to add a bit more glam to an outfit and the beads smell like that really nice plasticky smell like jelly shoes. Just throwing that out there. I also picked up this necklace because I feel like I don't wear enough necklaces and I really liked this one. I also picked up these midi rings, um, normally I can't wear midi rings because I've got the smallest fingers in the world but these ones were in small and one of them is silver and one of them is a rose gold and one of them is a gold and I just thought they were really really cute. The next thing I picked up is this grey dress with a wrap around the middle and I think this is midi length so not quite down to the floor just past the knee and it's a really nice fit but I also just think things like this look quite cool with like converse. I don't know, just because the sun's gone doesn't mean you can't wear dresses. There's always a way to try and wear it. This next thing I absolutely love because I love vintage style jumpers. Obviously this one's not vintage, but it looks pretty retro. And it is this jumper from Miss Selfridge. Three quarter length sleeves, quite cropped, but I'm thinking you could wear it with something high waisted and it would look quite nice. And it's nice and thick. And I just really love the colours. A thick top with a tiny little collar. Oh dear me, something with a collar has slipped into this haul, what a surprise. And it's a really nice dark green um, and it has gold on it and black on it and I just think this is really cute. Again, stepping out of the comfort zone of black leggings and disco pants, I have opted for some high-waisted dark green and black tiny, tiny little leopard print peg leg trousers that are again high-waisted and you can turn them up at the bottom. After that I popped into Primark and I picked up the infamous super cosy tights. These tights are a must for autumn and winter. They're only £3.50 and they are the best tights ever. They have like a fleecy lining in them so if you are a bit like me and you're prone to getting very cold when it's cold 
definitely look into getting something like this um, whether it's from Primark or you want to pay a bit more for some that might last a bit longer is completely your choice but everyone needs fleecy lining in their tights and when they're only £3.50 from Primark you have no excuse also picked up this jumper which I really like slightly knitted three quarter length um, and it has this sort of like reverse pattern on the shoulders and the sleeves and down the sides and it's just a bit like sort of oversized and I really like this the last place I visited was H&M or H&M I don't know I always get told off for the way I say it because I, I always say it wrong but I've said it both ways so don't shoot me I love H&M for um, jewellery because they do extra small rings so again if you've got teeny tiny fingers or you have trouble trying to find ones that fit you properly try here because they do extra small um, I got these which are just like plain bands um, there's a rose gold one, a matte black one which I thought was really cool my twitter, what a DM a gold one and a big silver one and they get slightly wider as they go down next thing I picked up was this pack of stud earrings if you know me you will know I am not very adventurous with earrings there is a little set of um, gold giraffes a little set of silver pyramids some silver fox heads or cougar heads, I'm not too sure what they are some tiny little rose gold rabbits which I think are adorable some cute little rose hair grips um, I don't know how I'm going to wear these, maybe when my hair's in a bun or... I don't know, if you know how to wear cute clips I've not really ventured into wearing anything other than a bobby pin in my hair but I think these are quite cute. Kind of summery, I have to admit, but roses aren't just for the summer, are they? I also picked up this skirt because I thought it was really cute. It's a skater style skirt and it has tiny little cats on, some with no eyes, some with eyes and whiskers. And I thought it was cute, I like it. This is slightly more boring, but everyone needs basic t-shirts. Um, to wear underneath their jumpers and to layer up and I always like the ones from H&M because they're just really nice and soft and really nice and fitted so I got a black one, it has a rounded neck, I'm not massively keen on v-necks unless I'm wearing the t-shirt with nothing else um, that sounds weird, a lot of the things I own are three quarter length so I often prefer to go for something short sleeved so that if it, the sleeve stops here, it's still okay, if that makes any sense. So I got a black one, and I got two white ones because I always think white gets a bit more dirty, so I got two of those. And last but not least, I got a fox bubble hat. Bubble hat? Bubble hat. What noises do fox make? Oh, they make like horrific screaming noises, don't they? Like. So that is everything I've picked up in my autumn winter haul. Do let me know if there is anything you're desperate to see in a lookbook and I will try and make sure I include it. Also let me know your staples for autumn winter. Is there anything I've missed out? And give this video a big thumbs up if you like hauls and you like autumn and winter. Shh, laptop. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you again very soon. Bye. Be cool. Oh, I've got fluff in my mouth. It's hot. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I'm gonna take my clothes off. I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. Who needs the lid? <laughs> Here's the shade. Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I just full on punched through the nose. It was actually my chin. <laughs> oh.